Hello Marvel fans, welcome again to my channel and today's video is all about one of the strongest cosmic beings in Marvel Universe. He is the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer is known for his incredible powers including superhuman strength, durability, and energy manipulation abilities. However, his abilities are closely tied to his iconic surfboard which he uses to harness and channel his powers. Without his sword, Silver Surfer's powers are significantly diminished and he is much weaker. This is depicted in the 2000 movie, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, where Silver Surfer is depicted as being much weaker without his sword. And so Marvel fans, that brings us to the question, is Silver Surfer as weak without his sword as he is in the movie? Hmm. But before we continue, just a small favor for those who are watching. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification icon to remind you of my future videos. So, Marvel fans, it's surfing time! Oh, no, no. Okay. Again, Marvel fans, let's rock! Now that's much better. Before going to the question, let us first take a lightning fast journey into Silver Surfer's history. Silver Surfer is created by Jack Kirby and debuted as an unplanned addition to the superhero comic team Fantastic Four number 48 on 1966. The first of a three issue arc that fans call the Galactus Trilogy. Lauren Rudd is from the utopian planet called Senla in the Danib star system of the Milky Way galaxy. He is the son of Jartran and Elmar Rad, and a half-brother of Fenan Rad. Senla's ancient and significantly advanced civilization has lost the will to strive or explore, leaving the young scholar Norin Rad restless and yearning for adventures. However, Norin's life changed forever when a menacing alien spacecraft pierced Senla's long-neglected defense system. Convincing a Council of Scientists member to provide him with a spaceship, Rad soon confronted the invader Galactus, who, who intended to consume the planet Senla. He saved his home world from the planet the Bower Galactus by serving as his herald. Imbued in return with some of Galactus' power cosmic, he acquired vast power, a new body, and a surfboard light craft, on which he could travel faster than light. Transforming Rad into a silver-skinned, cosmic-powered super-being, patterned after an adolescent fantasy plucked from Norin's memories. Known thereafter as a Silver Surfer, because of the silvery flying board he rode. The Silver Surfer departed Senla with Galactus. As the Herald of Galactus, the Silver Surfer's primary role was to seek out uninhabited planets for his master to consume. Exploring the wonders of the universe, he would use his cosmic power to locate suitable worlds and guide Galactus to them. However, it became increasingly difficult for Rad to find energy-rich worlds devoid of sentient life. And did you know, Marvel fans, the destruction of the first inhabited planet he offered to Galactus almost drove Norin insane, forcing Galactus to alter the mind of his herald. As a result, the Silver Surfer became more willing to lead Galactus to inhabited worlds and serves Galactus for an unspecified amount of time. And so then, the Silver Surfer located Earth for Galactus. Despite Yuatu, the Watcher attempts to ward him off during his time on Earth. The Surfer then met Alicia Masters, who pleaded with him to spare humanity from Galactus. Touched by their nobility, he revels against Galactus. And with the help of Reed Richards' ultimate nullifier, Galactus was driven off the planet. But before he leaves, he confines the Silver Surfer to Earth with a barrier that affects only him. And Marvel fans, despite rebelling against Galactus, the Surfer maintains a unique connection to him. He can tap into Galactus' powers and draw upon it when necessary. Silver Surfer rose to prominence as one of Marvel Comics' most formidable characters. He possessed the cosmic power. 
However, what does that actually mean? In other words, gravity, electromagnetic, the weak force and the strong force are the four fundamental forces of nature that is fully in control over. And armed with it, it is essentially limitless. Now, let's explore the far galactic reaches of these incredible powers. Power Cosmic The power cosmic is the passive energy that exists throughout the universe. Well, on Marvel of course. Not just in the main universe, but in every multiverse, every timeline, every dimensions. By simply existing in this or any universe, timeline or dimensions, the Silver Surfer gains energy and goes in power. In fact, the more older he gets, the more of the power cosmic he acquires. Silver Surfer has been Galactus Herald for at least a millennium. But in that period, he was able to travel back in time and live from the beginning of the universe, becoming nearly 14 billion years old. The power cosmic makes him immortal. It fills him with energy and the information from that energy, he is able to gain knowledge from everything that the power cosmic touches. He can sense energies or absence of energies. His understanding of the universe surpasses most other beings even cosmic forces like Galactus himself. For unlike most other cosmic forces, Silver Surfer started life as a mortal being. He understands mortality and the universe impermanence in a personal way that the other cosmic forces, gods, or immortals never could. His wisdom grants him great strength and earns him great respect across the universe. In his cosmic awareness that allows him to perceive most of the universe from light years away, hearing, seeing, and sensing all things, and not just in this moment, he can see the past, present, and future all at once. He can even see the previous universe that Galactus came from before it was destroyed. It is the power cosmic that gives him all of his other abilities. Through the power cosmic, he can manipulate the other forces of nature. Next is gravity. Silver Surfer can unpeter himself from gravity. He can fly faster than the speed of light. And he can even think faster than the speed of light. And though he could simply manipulate gravity surrounding a single object, he also happens to be impossibly strong. The upper limits of his strengths are unknowable. His strength shows in many ways. He is invulnerable, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Even Mephisto, could not tamper with Silver Surfer's soul. Filled with the power of cosmic, he never runs out of energy. He can avoid black holes in space in any number of ways. But his ability to manipulate gravity just as easily allows him to manipulate the dense entities. He can also create black holes and portals. Within those black holes, manipulating gravity to such a degree that space itself bends to his will. Next is electromagnetism. Being able to affect all forms of electromagnetism allows him to completely manipulate any type of energy. He's been able to manipulate the gamma ray radiation energy within the hole, briefly nullifying his powers. He can shoot impossibly powerful energy beams with no apparent limit to their duration. While the power cosmic can drain from his body, he can simply absorb more from other energy sources. Electromagnetism is what moves and controls electrons in an atom. Silver Surfer can manipulate electromagnetism on a subatomic and cosmic scale. That strength means that any energy that he encounters becomes his plating. And lastly, the weak force and the strong force. The weak force accounts for the decay of elements over a period of time. The strong force is what holds matter together keeping protons and neutrons together. It is a thousand trillion times stronger than the force of gravity. The Silver Surfer is in complete control of the very thing that form and make every molecule of matter in the universe. Accordingly, he can create or destroy anything, any element, any material, and form or function. The universe bends to his will. And yet, as a philosopher and peacekeeper, Silver Surfer has very little interest in changing things to his will. Instead, 
he does all he can to find balance. And Marvel fans, it should be noted that while he can literally create words on a whim, he cannot create life beyond his own. He doesn't need a body to live. And even if he dies, he has the ability to come back through regenerative factors. But he cannot raise others from the dead or create life. Still, that might be the only thing he truly can't accomplish with his growing share of the power cosmic. The Silver Surfer possesses the power cosmic, which is the core from which his other abilities manifest from. Now, let's continue with more of his powers and abilities. Before answering our question, is he really weak without his word? Energy Manipulation The absorption of electromagnetic energy is the base of surfer's life and power. The surfer has complete control of four fundamental forces of the universe, reaching nearly any effect he desires. As a result, the surfer can absorb, manipulate, and discharge energy blasts of the entire electromagnetic spectrum at incredible levels, surpassing Nova with the Nova Force and Quasar. And with sufficient destructive force to destroy planets, Currently, at maximum, his beams are capable of almost killing Ravenous, equaling Thanos, and hurting Thor in Asgardian armor. Additional abilities include erecting force field, facing through solid matter, transdimensional travel, bestowing limited cosmic powers to others, telepathically reading minds, casting illusions, and influencing human emotions and sensations. The surfer also possess the ability to suppress or absorb the powers of other mutant beings, making them temporarily or permanently unable to use them, like he did once with the Hulk. Next is Matter Manipulation. The Silver Surfer can rearrange matter to create other objects of importance by rearranging molecules. He can also change the state of matter, such as changing solids into gas. Transmutation helps the surfer escape traps and prisons, and can also be used to make an enemy's weapons inactive. Another one is godlike strength. The surfer possesses enormous superhuman strength, though the exact magnitude remains vague. He has often been shown to fight evenly with people who can lift far in excess of 1,000 tons. He can also use the power cosmic to increase his strength to huge levels. Another one is flight speed. Prior to his upgrade, the Silver Surfer was one of the fastest beings in the universe, but was greatly outmatched by the runner of the Elders of the Universe. Currently, he is faster than Beta Reveal and Nova. While the Silver Surfer's powers are formidable, his surfboard, the Cosmic Board, is an integral part of his character. The board is composed of the same cosmic energy that grants him his power. It allows him to traverse space faster than the speed of light, granting him incredible maneuverability and the ability to travel vast distances. The board can also be mentally controlled by the surfer, allowing him to summon it to his location or dismiss it at will. However, it's worth noting that the silver surfer's powers are not solely derived from his board. Even without the board, he, re he retains his cosmic abilities, including his superhuman powers, and the manipulation of cosmic energy. Thus, while the board enhances his mobility and serves as a focus for his powers, the Silver Surfer remains a formidable cosmic entity even without it. And now, Marvel fans, I hope that answers our question. Well, it's important to note that the depiction of characters in comics can vary across different writers or story arcs. While these are the general attributes associated with the Silver Surfer, specific interpretations may differ in certain comic book series or adaptations. And that's it for today's video. For those who watch till the end, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again, Marvel fans. Bye-bye!